I'm Robert. And I'm Ellen. And this is Science Scene. Hey, Ellen, would you take a look at my latest edit? Hey, what did you do to the Science Scene office? Good news, Robert. I've turned it into an e-cigarette store. What? Why? Because vaping is all the rage right now. All the cool kids are doing it. Sure, but isn't selling e-cigarettes a little, I don't know, ethically irresponsible? I didn't hear you complaining when we used Emperor Penguins as bowling pins with an armadillo as the ball. Yeah, I guess not. Besides, these are e-cigarettes, not regular cigarettes. Instead of burning tobacco, they turn nicotine liquid into an aerosol. Perfectly safe, and everyone loves all the crazy flavors like cotton candy and bubblegum. I don't think nicotine is that good for you. It can cause birth defects and problems with brain development in adolescence. Teenagers are already hard enough to deal with. And did you just say that we're selling to kids? E-cigarette use isn't federally regulated, so the state governments get to decide how to regulate them. And 10 states, including Texas, haven't gotten around to it. Some cities have put age restrictions in place, but not the Weird People's Republic of Austin. That's horrible! It's capitalism, Robert. But most e-cigarette retailers in Austin don't sell to, sell to children, even if it would be technically legal. I guess we could do the same. <sighs> but kids will still get access to e-cigarettes, right? Yeah, but at least they're not smoking cigarettes. In 2014, 13.4% of high school students reported using e-cigarettes, while only 9.2% said they smoked regular cigarettes, down from 15.8% in 2011. Wait, so is that good? Kind of. E-cigarettes aren't great for you, but they're better than regular cigarettes. And, while it's not proof of anything, it does seem that if, as vaping goes up, smoking goes down. So are e-cigarettes a way to quit smoking? Maybe, maybe not. The evidence is unclear. At least right now, the FDA doesn't support e-cigarettes as a way to quit smoking, in the same way you don't support the Daily Texans rolly chairs. They'd rather you use nicotine, gum, or the patch. Well, Ellen, I guess e-cigarettes aren't all that bad, but I still don't think I want to go into business with you. I just wouldn't feel right selling something that could hurt somebody, even if it's only a little. Did I mention the e-cigarette industry is worth $1.5 billion? Never mind, I'm on board, business partner Ellen. Actually, it's Boss Ellen, and you still need to get caught up on the basics of e-cigarettes, so check out today's science scene, part of the Life and Arts section of your Daily Texan.